guys, it's Emily from No More Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my London trip with Kat. I'm off to um, now catching the train to London Waterloo to meet Kat from Bridge Reviews and we're going to have a day together. We're going to go to some bookshops, some charity shops, we're going to have lunch in Chinatown hopefully and you can always hear things but this is my first time going to London on my own and I'm so nervous and so excited but I know that I'm going to meet Kat soon. Um, I've got everything, I've literally brought everything with me, drinks, snacks, everything. Normally things that Charlie's, I have to double check my list with Charlie because like, she normally brings them. But we're on our way, I'm going to go and get my book ready to read. I'm going to read, um, I think I've got a witch of it, Hex Education from this art, but I may take a picture and do that. And I'm going to read that and try and enjoy my journey. I'll do some clips when we get like some pretty areas, I'll do like a little screen of it there. But I'll see you all soon. We are going to be in our first bookshop, Boyles. We have not bought anything yet, but we've just come upstairs to the fiction section. She's dangerous. We're going to have fun. It's not me. I'm not dangerous. But You're dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like, what are we thinking? We're just going to set, like, look here now, and then we're going to come back here later. Because this is our last, this is Waterloo, so we're going to be back here later. So let's see. Mm, let's see how we do. should not find charity shops because they all appear to be closed today so we're going to now look for bookshops that is the Trafalgar Square and what's that again? Nelson's, Nelson's Column there a big fuck off thing and then that is the National Gallery and this is Trafalgar Square I think is yes. it? yeah we're in Trafalgar Square which is pretty cool so I'm going to look around here and then we're going to see when I'll show you again when we find some bookshops we're just going to stick with bookshops now. I think charity shops is obviously a no-go. So this is the first bookshop we found, a little alleyway, so I've not been in it yet. So we're going to go in there and have a little look in there. And then Alice through the looking glass, another bookshop which we're going to. And I've never been to either of them, so let's have a look. So that was nowhere near books. That was, um, yeah, not my occult kind of bookshop. So let's look in this one, Alice through the looking glass, that one. And then let's just film, like, should we go into this one there? Yeah. We're going to this one first, which is March Payne. This yeah. is another bookshop, but I'm going to look at it because Alice was looking at it. First bookshop, please God tell me this is going to be good luck. Please God. We are outside Hatchards. All the other bookshops were absolute pants. So we're sticking at Hatchards and then with the London Waterloo and then we're going back to Boyles and I will show you also in, um, where else are we going? Oh yeah, Waterstones and yeah, so we'll do that later. I'll take some video clips in here. Now. Downstairs, which I think is just sort of a travel area, which is not something I was going to look at, but I'm not trying to go too fast. This is travel, that's nature. I don't really think we're going to look over on there. Maybe gifts, maybe. Uh, yeah, this is all travel, so maybe not. Okay. Where's biographies? Okay. Oh, psychology and sociology. Ready for us? Yeah, I think this is just normal fiction. There you go, I've had cat in the film, there you go. Oh no cat. London, UK travel. And biographies are over there. So we're going to look, I think, I'm going to look in the biography. This is the middle floor, which I don't think is the one that's particularly amazing. Oh. 
There's like history and politics down here. So, oh, hardback general fiction. Okay, so I might have a little look in here. Okay. Oh, general history. So this is all history. I'm not that much into history enough. Okay, let's go. This is where Emily's getting excited. But I'm not buying hardbacks because I have to carry them home. But yeah, you can see, and I've so I rule, which I do want to get when it comes out to paperback, but I'll be there. Uh, the full moon coffee shop. Two words, cat and coffee. Don't. <laughs> it's hardback. We'll wait until it comes out to paperback. But yeah, look at all these. And apparently there's only the Christie section, so I'm going to try not to. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, uh, this is for you know who, Agatha Christie. I said I wasn't going to buy an Agatha Christie. But look how pretty they all look. Oh, if I don't find anything else to get here, I may come back. But look how pretty they all look. I just don't know which one to get. Okay, I'm going to have a little look and then we'll have a look at where we are also. Conan Doyle. I swear my camera. I think my thing is sorry about that. I think that, yeah. We're not going to come back to this. I have. Not any more Conan Doyle, but look, there is a lot of detective fiction around. But we've just seen some areas, so we're now going to look for the fantasy. I'm not going to get any of the return done. I'm worried, I think everyone's going to have very to Okay, that's enough for this that's area. So I think it's like fantasy kind of. But she's not saying I don't think the ones that she's going to get me to buy, thank God. I think that looks too high-end fantasy for me. Oh God, this could be sci-fi fantasy. Okay, so we've now found Cat's area. This is definitely my area. We might get like a little vlog, so I'll clip in a minute and go back and do that one. I'm going to let them look a little bit, but yeah, you can see this is like fantasy area and this is where Cat's looking there and smiling. And then we've got historical fiction, which is my area, and then I'll go back to the contemporary. I think we just we will go and look at the next area, but this is definitely the best shop, one of the best shops. This is dangerous, this is Cat's got me on the classics fiction. Well, I'm going to have a little look, but I don't know what I'm going to find yet. But yeah, this is quite good. I don't know exactly, I can't see anything at the moment, but you never know. God, I wish this is days like this. I miss Katie being here when I'm looking at classics. Like okay, it. so we're looking at the classics table. Okay. Oh, Wuthering Heights. <laughs> you can't do Wuthering Heights in like a children's version. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that was Wuthering Heights is not a book that I would even near Mia. And Mia's 12. Right. So this is like 8 to 12 section. And over there's the teenage fiction, which is where I think we're going to end up going and getting a book. And there's that Percy Jackson book, which I'm waiting to write a paperback. But look, there is loads. I'm sorry, I will. And then the younger kids, there's Harry Potter, but we don't talk about that. Children's toys and teas and all. And I think that apparently there's another floor. God, this is trying to kill me. I like it. an area where I haven't actually got anything. So Kat did just make me buy Bill and Robert Donna, which I'll show you when I do the end bit but this is it and i'm now going to make cat buy a book look how pretty these are these are all authors i'm now going to make cat buy a book. okay so second thoughts we are now in the sci-fi fancy era we'll have a little look in here but i'm well aware that i'm already getting tired which is not good for me really classic games we'll go back to the fancy area that i was looking at in a minute hi guys so we are done we went to foils we have stopped off at costa um in the london waterloo Although she's killing me because like Jem told me that I would like a book that is on sale and buy one get one half price in foils where we've just been and it's killing me not to go back and buy two more books but I really didn't so it's really good. So I'm showing these five and then like it's where the cat can like physically hold me and stop me from going back to foils which we'll is right next door. I'm not going to let you back in that shop. <laughs> let me go in there because that was the first shop we went to and that was the shop where I bought two books from as well. So let me, I've just had my pop, my, um, what did I have? I had maple doodah iced latte, had a bit of cake. Should have taken a picture of, but I don't, I'm tired. Like my lipstick's coming off. I'm absolutely shattered. I've rolled up my sleeves. I am done tired. But I thought I would show you their books. I'll wrap up the video in the, um, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I did do some clips in Waterstones, but not everything. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. 
I don't know how it's going to be, but I thought I'd show you the video in here and then I'll show you what I've got and then I'll show you what she's got and then we'll like wrap it up. I'll wrap it up a little bit on the train if I can. Depends on how busy the train is, so if not I might have to wrap it up when I get home. But let's have a look and I'll show you what I got. So the first place we went to was um was Hatchards, wasn't it? Mm. Right, Hatchards. And I got two books from Hatchards. First one I'll show you was one that Kat recommended because Kat was gonna get me to buy a fantasy and that's Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I've heard lots of I've heard a few people speak about this and Kat reckons it's historical fiction and fantasy and she's reading it and she loved it and I know that Chatty from The Mad Chatter really liked it and I, I'm really worried it's part of a series but... It is part of a series, sorry I'm just uh, gonna kill her. Pushed you into that one. So she's now got me started on another series. Oops. But yeah, this is, um, orphaned as a child, Signa Farah has been raised by a string of guardians, each more interested in her wealth than being, than her well-being, and each has met an untimely end. Her only relatives are the immediate, elusive Hawthorne and eccentric family living in Thorn Grove. Okay, that does look really good, but I'm going to kill her, because it's oh, a new series. And if I can't kill Cat, Thomas would never forgive me. And then I bought another book for the Agatha Project. Yes, I said I wasn't going to buy one, but this is a Miss Marple, and it, when I watched um, Alice's videos before, like, not recently, this was one of her favourite books in Agatha Ones, and it's Sleeping Murder, and it's a, May it's a Marvel book. A Strange House, A Ghost from the Past. Don't know any more than that, but I know that Alice loved it, so that's why I got that. Then we went into the big water stones at Piccadilly, and it's the biggest water stones, and you would have seen the clips, but I felt overwhelmed. Um, I think the cat did as well because it was very, very big. We went up loads of floors. They didn't have many in the buy one get one half price offers. It just didn't. I think it just overwhelmed me. But I did buy one book and I bought Anybody Out There by Marion Keys, which is the fourth book in the Walsh, Walsh Girl series. And I've got the first three, so now I've got the fourth. So that is, and this one's more about Anna Walsh. Don't want to know too much more. She's about, so lying in her parents' good front room, covered in bandages. Anna's dreams of living in, leaving Dublin and returning to her beloved New York, to her home, to her job, and most of all her husband, Aidan. But unfortunately, her family has other ideas. She's staying put, and Aidan, he's refusing to take her calls. Okay, that does look really good. And then we went back to Foyles, and like I said, Kat's really going to have to stop me from going back there to get northwards. Um, so I got The Heroines by Laura Shepherdson. Which is like I think it's like a Greek no it's yes yeah, like a Greek historical fiction which is on my wish list and I decided to get it. In Athens, crowds flock to witness the most shocking trials of the ancient world. The royal family is mired in scandal. Phaedra, a young bride of King Theseus, has been accused her stepson Hippoclonus of rape. Oh God, he's a prince and a talented horseman. That just looks really good and really me. And then this is down to I think Kirsten from Reading Nip got me and. Cat. We both picked up this, and that is the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. The next one, the what was the next one? The oh my god, how many times did we see it? And we don't remember the name of it. Cinnamon, Cinnamon. Book, book Club. I've got a funny. We think we think Cat's being cheeky and mean and making me read this in November. So as soon as I get it, because it does look like Pumpkin Spice, we've got to get it. So we read it at the start of November, which means our Percy Jackson book will have to be read in the second half of November because we can't do two buddy reads at the same time. Yes, this is the last book. I hope. If she doesn't make me. And you're not going back. We're not right. going back. So the next clip I will show you now of cats. So I'm going to have to do it two separate clips and I'll show you that. So these are all the books I've got. Technically, I only bought four books and was gifted one. <laughs> so this is the book I was gifted. That was one I got you. So it's the last library by Freya Sense. And it literally is about the library. It's about loneliness, about community books it's got books upon books and she's gonna love that because it's got loads of books upon books in it and i think she's gonna really like it and it's got a cat on the cover so that's very cat as you will see yeah. from another purchase yes. that i have made cats <laughs> and libraries very me exactly um, so this is another book that emily made me buy so it's my fault i mean to be fair this is this is very so the, so well. the gorgeous bay covers okay. you know it's very nice edges uh, so it's Sapphic Robin Hood. That's enough for me. Don't need to know anything else. And I told her Lakes Croucher is like an amazing one of my favourite authors, and she's got a chronic pain ambassador because she's got chronic pain too. That's why we cats gonna love her. I'm very excited to read that one. Oh, should we buddy with that? Because I haven't read that yet. Yes. 
Another buddy read. Oh, buddy read. Part when are we going to buddy read any of these books? We've got so many things to buddy read. <laughs> okay, so then I also got a uh, pole position, which is, I think, I think it's gay Formula One racing romance. Which one didn't you get that in um, Doodle, Hatchard? Uh, no, I got this one in W.H. Smith's. Oh. No, no, it was actually. Yeah, Walter. Yeah, no, yeah. Tired. No, I think I got. Yeah, I got. You to, I got you to get the um. That one was Hatchard. This one I got from Hatchard. Yeah. This one I got from uh, Waterstones. Yeah. And yeah, I have a friend that really likes Formula One racing, and I know that she'd love to read this book after me. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna read it. It's yeah. an excuse for me to buy it. Yeah. So. That's that one. And as I said, cats and libraries. The Village Library Demon Hunting Society. Somebody gets murdered, somebody's investigating it, and it was enough for me. There's a cat. It looks creepy, it looks like it could be cosy, also. So, yeah, very you. Yes. And then obviously, Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which we are going to read in November because this is like the most autumny book that ever autumned in the autumn. So, we need to read it in the autumn. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> We're done. We've had a good day. We have had a good day. Now I'll do the next clip in a minute. Yeah, right. Hang on a second. We'll wrap this up now, and I'll do some clips with all the pictures at the end. But we've had a brilliant day. Yes, it's been very good. I think we didn't really have very many successes with the charity shops. We didn't have any. Yeah, no. We just wandered in, and then we wandered straight back out again because yeah. they were just not the type of charity shops that we were at. They're weird. And um, what? So we had uh, we had a creepy guy that was. Like, so like, I think a creepy man that was yelling at us. Uh, yeah, a creepy man that was yelling at us about some of the weird bookshops. That was weird. Yeah. Um, Trafalgar Square was really nice. We've seen Trafalgar Square, Nelson's Column and the gallery. That was nice. And then we didn't really sort of, had a bit lost in that. And then we like struggled to find somewhere to eat. And I would have shown you a picture of that. And then we would have had, that was fun. And then I got ketchup everywhere when we went to yeah, the Yeah, she's like pumping the machine. And then she went, she just went like that. And it just went all over the counter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just there like, I just snuck that out. <laughs> so that was like really funny. And then the meal was really nice. Like we were going to go to yeah. Chinatown and it was like, no, we just got oh, over the... We just too tired for looking for things. And then it becomes too complicated when you need to actually figure out what you want to eat when you could just have something easy. Yeah. We were defeated by easiness. Yeah, we were. Um, I think we've chatted loads. We have literally taken the mic out of each other. We've chatted loads. We got tired at the same point. Yeah. We were like, I think, like, this is something for the Spoonies, like, we, we, this is like, maybe, maybe we should come, like, next time we're about the yeah. Spoonies, before the Spoonies, like, May, or... So we can exhaust ourselves. Yeah, exhaust ourselves Spoonies. Spoonies. <laughs> but it will give you an idea, like, this is what life is like for a Spoonie. Like, I think for me, this is the first time I've gone travelling with someone with the same levels of chronic pain as me. Yeah. And we literally, when we stopped, got here, we literally stopped up, and it was like, right, we all need our medication now, and, like, we're now timing when we're going to have our next vacation. We both bet could barely talk when we got to this cafe. Mm. Like, um, I've not got long until my train back. But I, it was just so much fun. I think like I'll wrap, like you'll see some clips of the journey home. Maybe if it's not dark. But I thought actually it's like easier to open. It's nice, nice. Like this is our first time meeting up, and it's actually been the best laugh. But you'd never believe we've never met each other before. We've only been speaking on the phone because we're like two friends. That are, like it's just. It's just normal. It's just so it's easy. Like, it's just like, this is yeah, a girl I chat to every week. Thomas had literally said that Kat's like his favourite and my better friend. Winning. Yeah, everyone else, Charlie. <laughs> no, Charlie's, got, <laughs> Charlie's got the auntie status. But like, this has been the best day ever. I Yes, we're both exhausted. Yes, I'm going to get a microwave meal when I get home. Yes, I'm dreading the fact I've got work tomorrow. But it's been the best day ever. Thanks, Kat. Yeah, it's been really good. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.